grind for the night to the morning. Pound on the pavement and hitting the clock. I ain't gonna stop till I own it. You ain't did what I done. That's how I know I'm the one. I ain't taking no days off. Back to work when the cameras is done. As hard as it get. You ready to fight? We're fighting!
Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Ready to fight? Ready? Let's fight! Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round one. The UFC debut has finally arrived for this young man. It's a feel-good story, undeniably. He's got a lot of friends and family in the building. And given what he did on the regional circuit, the expectations are high that he can step right into the big show tonight and realize success immediately. Doesn't happen for everybody, but a lot of hype behind this young man. We'll see if he can live up to it tonight. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do it in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Impressive. He's got to chase that finish down now. Oh, now a big left hand. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. We cross the midpoint in round one. 
Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and it's almost like the ball off the hook. Right hook to the head. That one, that right hand. Oh, big left. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Nice jab. Oh, and now you really are starting to see the damage inflicted by the opponent all over that left thigh. So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. At one minute, 37 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO Miller. Well, that's how you seize the moment in the UFC debut as he gets the job done here tonight. And the celebration is on with his coaches and his teammates. 1-0 in the big show. Can't start much better than that. his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. That's one of those shots. And if you take one of them, if you get the ninth, that one landed right on the spot. And under three minutes now to go in the round. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see on his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Oh, oh my goodness. With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. Big shot to the head. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the base to his opponent. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Ready 
fight. Ready. Four. All right, round two. Do you believe that this next round is out of way? In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Uppercut. Oh, great block there. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and he got to... He's got to try to finish here. Oh! And that will do it! Oh! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Round here, if it smelled funny. for this middleweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to harken back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win his last time out. So there it is, and the first takedown comes pretty early. The boxer felt good about his takedown defense coming in. He is unable to stop the wrestler's first shot. It's one thing to train with all of your partners, and they give you a feel. But there's nothing like being in there with the guy. This guy's a high-level wrestler, and he showed that with that beautiful takedown. Oh, punches and bunches all to the head. Bruno, a guy who was a grappler, striking has really improved. Oh, the head kick there is and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got it hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Mm, nice. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. 15 seconds remain in the round. reach the end of round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk okay, about the knockdown. Yes. When you knock somebody down, well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice jab by Gastelum. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's secured it, and he's doing it and scored it over and over again. Close guard. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, he's got his back now. Ah, ah. 
close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round on the way. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Gastelum. Now he looks to try to chase down that pigeon. Nice level change. the half. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get what? some of his ground what? strikes what? going what? here. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our... Right, over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there. And I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. He's having his way with him here. Oh, what a fight as we go the full 15 minutes. I wouldn't be surprised to see them run it back at some point in the future. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Miller! All right, no surprise there as Bruce Buffer gets you the scorecards. Dominant performance tonight for the boxer, and on the other side, the wrestler just couldn't get anything going. And, John, if we thought that this fight would end by decision, it would be going in the opposite direction. So it speaks to how...